Greetings, students. Professor Gomes here. I thought I'd take this opportunity to create this video to give you an idea of what you can expect uh, from the course and basically what I can um, expect from you. Um, you, If you're watching this, obviously our course hasn't started yet. Um, I'm recording this actually in late August and you receive a link to this on um, my YouTube channel about a week before the course begins. So, welcome to Introductory Stats, Math 158. Hello students, welcome to the course. I'm so excited to work with you this term to assist you in achieving your educational goals. I truly look forward to our class and getting to know each of you online. One of the many reasons I love teaching this particular course is the real world applications. I mean, nowadays, it's, you turn on the news, whatever, it's, it's social media, everything is statistics. So it's uh, some real world applications. It's my intent that the students from all diverse backgrounds and perspectives be well served by this course, that students learning needs be addressed both in and out of class and that the diversity that the students bring to this class be viewed as a resource strength and benefit. It's also my intent to present materials and activities that are respectful to uh, respective of diversity, gender, identity, sexuality, disability, age, social, economic status, ethnicity, race, nationality, religion, and culture. Your suggestions are encouraged and appreciated. Please let me know ways to improve the effectiveness of the course for your personality, personally, or for other students or student groups. Furthermore, I like to create a learning environment for all my students that supports the diversity of thoughts, perspectives, and experiences, and honors your identities, including here again, gender, identity, sexuality, disability, your age, ethnicity, nationality, religion, and culture. To help accomplish this, if you have a name or a set of pronouns that differ from those that appear on the official master story records, please let me know. If you feel like your performance in the class is being impacted by your experience outside of the class, please don't hesitate to come to talk to me. Well, it's online, so email me um, or we can discuss this in Zoom. I want to be a resource for you. If you prefer to speak with someone outside of the course, your academic dean is an excellent resource. Please go through all the web pages and familiarize yourself and how we'll operate. You'll see the textbook is free. I hope um are you smiling i hope so please contact me as soon as you have any challenges so that we can work together to meet your needs best way to contact me is through my massive email now initially before the course begins as you're watching this video or uh, once the course is published this is the first page that you'll see when the course begins i'll show you that you'll when the uh, Canvas page loads up, you'll go right into the learning modules, all right? What I'm going to do right now is to close this video down just to kind of save some, this little screen, to save some space. Uh, course overview. All right, first thing you see here, you know, our course doesn't begin until, it's an accelerated course, all right? It doesn't begin until... Uh, October the 11th, and our last day of class is in December, December 18th. Our syllabus is a link to a hard copy of it. You'll receive the hard copy the first day of class. Um, once again, my name, all right, my email address, office hours. I want to conduct every Thursday a Zoom meeting. Now, finding the optimum time to have a Zoom meeting that meets everybody's time schedules is pretty much impossible. All right, and I realize by taking an online course, many of you are working, so I'll come up with a date and uh, a day and a time, Thursday at 6 p.m. Now, if that doesn't fit your schedule, I'll obviously record the Zoom meetings and I'll post them on my YouTube channel. And here's a link to log on to um, the Zoom meeting all assignments will be posted on Canvas. Um, it's probably a situation that many of you have taken courses at Massasoit and online courses, so you're familiar with Canvas. If not, there are many pages that will help you with all of the different links and how to uh, access them. 
Once again, this is just my opening statement here about diversity. Course description, right out of the course catalog. All right, it's recommended for students in business, social science, human services, allied health, criminal justice. Just about every major requires that you take a course in statistics. Prerequisites, obviously, you've met these or you wouldn't have been enrolled in a course. Now, I mentioned that our book, our textbook is free. It's called an open ed resource, OER, all right? And I'll talk about this in, uh, in a moment, but there'll be a link to this. And as I move on with the video, I'll show you exactly how you can even download a, um, a copy of it, a PDF file. And I have links to each section of the OER book. Super important, all right? The course assumes that you've got a TI, a graphing calculator, a TI-84 or newer. Now, rather than going out and going to Best Buy or Staples or whatever, the college allows you to rent one for a nominal fee of 20 bucks. And the rental lasts all semester. All right, and here's a link. And that doesn't going to show up, so I'm going to stop that. But there'll be another link where you can actually make an appointment at the library to um, to rent. Used to be a situation where they would charge you right away. Now they add the twenty dollars to your um, to your bill. This is a form. This is an education form. Here again, there's our Zoom meetings. There's no in-person meetings. No telephone interactions. Everything is done online. All right campus uh the calendar all right so days that are holidays obviously i won't be posting things uh, assignments right about now i'm looking at posting assignment new assignments each tuesday and friday all right and we'll talk more about that as well as the course gets closer and closer all right this is right out of the um the master suite website Attendance policy, well, here again, it's flex online. We don't meet face-to-face, -face, all right? Here again, I will hold an optional, I say optional because it's not mandatory, a one-hour Zoom meeting to answer any questions regarding homework or any other questions or concerns that you may have. All right, I'll be posting homework each Tuesday and Friday. Super important here, homework is multiple choice, all right? I will not, I will neither collect it nor grade it. And you'll see as we get into looking at that first assignment. What I will do is I will post a voiceover after the homework has been assigned and do as I go. And I'll go through each and every question on the homework assignment. So you're not just having the answers that you have on the last page of the multiple choice, but I'll actually go through and show you in depth how I solved it or how it's to be solved. Right now, we're looking at four exams, dates to be determined. Trust me, you'll know the dates of your exams a good week or more, at least 10 days, a week to 10 days prior to the exams. All right, your grade will be the average of the four exams. The grading system, here again, this is right out of the, uh, the uh, Master Soy course um, catalog, where an A, a B, and so forth. Log on policy, choices have consequences for everyone. Students expected to log into Canvas several times to each uh, several times during each week of the course. It's the student's responsibility, our responsibility, to complete home, all the assignments. Once again, homework will not be collected, nor will it be graded. You can rec you can check these out. Academic honesty, all right, includes cheating, falsification of information. Here again, we will go through the syllabus in depth. Um, well, here again, it's an online course, so now please make sure you down a high, download a hot copy of this. I'm confusing online with face-to-face. -face. Affirmative action, equal opportunity, participation policy, academic advising, all right? Plenty of resources that are available. If you have a IEP, all right, and it's something that you've already spoken to the disabilities office, please let me know. And I will get a copy from the disabilities office. In most cases on an online course, it entails giving a particular student additional time to complete the exam. So please 
If you have an IEP, please let me know. Contact the Disabilities Office, and I'll receive a copy, and we can make arrangements for you. Basic needs, please go through this. If you're in need of any basic needs, there are resources provided. Office of Health and Wellness, grade appeals, incomplete grades, things that if you've taken courses at Massasoit, you're familiar with. We're drawing from the course or college. Things happen. All right. What we'll be covering topics. All right. Pretty much we'll be covering uh, eight chapters. All right. It's quite a load, but we'll get through it. You will get through it. Um, course outcomes, course activities, things that we'll be doing. And there it is. So please make sure you download a hard copy of this for your perusal. Um, take a look at this if you care to about your teacher. Just a, my picture, all right, a brief profile of who I am, where I'm about. I've been at Massasoit pretty much well, over 30 years now, so it's far from my first rodeo. Anyways, all right, so initially when you log on, when you get the link to the YouTube, this YouTube video, you, um, and of course, before the course starts, you'll, this is the page that you'll load up when you load up Canvas. Once the course begins, all right, I think it's October the 11th, you won't come to this page but you'll go to learning modules. All right, and the first thing you see here is opening remarks. This is where I will post in this video, you know, once about a week. What I'll probably do is a you know, week to 10 days prior to the course, I'll actually sing in this video so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Now notice here, I'm in what's called uh, instructor view. If I click here, the student view is slightly different, all right? You don't see as many options as I see. We see the syllabus, the Zoom link, modules. Very important when it comes time to take the quizzes, you'll be clicking on that link right there. Notice nothing's available just yet. Let me leave student view, go back to instructor view, and go back to modules. All right. Now, to see what's underneath here, you see this little arrow here. I can just click it, and the um, the section this module will open up, or I can simply click in that gray area. All right. Uh, welcome and getting started. All right. Let's see what's here. By virtue of being a Massasoit student, you're able to download a copy of Microsoft Office. This link will describe and give you a link of how you can download Office 365 for free. You have access to it as long as you're enrolled in Massasoit. The importance of statistics. This is a video. All right. I would suggest you watch it. It's only about two minutes. Statistics, like I mentioned, is it's everywhere, it's especially with the elections coming up in 2024. And prior to that, everything is stats. 88% of the population think that math professors are aliens, whatever. There's all sorts of numbers. And we'll delve into this, what, what constitutes a good statistic. Being successful in the course. Well, I love this. Oh, I can do that later. You know, I want you to be successful. Each week you'll have readings and chapter homework to complete. There's a temptation to think. In-person activities are more urgent than your homework. Well, the problem is online assignments pile up, all right? Follow the weekly schedule. I recommend you log in each and every day, all right? My suggestion. Course syllabus, time commitment, you know, may vary to day to day. You'll work out a schedule. It's, some days you'll have more time to log on, other days not, depending on your schedule, whether you're taking other courses or working. Contact me, please. Don't hesitate via email. Um, I will contact you with um, through your campus email, all right? You, you'll log on to that by the inbox that you see right over here. All righty. Let's see what else we got. These are a couple of other videos. Encourage you. One's called the, uh, the TED Talk, The Power of uh, Passion and Perseverance. And what the gist of this is, 
It's not always the smartest person in an online course that does the best. It's the person that has the grit, person that can overcome obstacles and has stick to itiveness. Angela Lee Duckworth. You're all familiar with Danzel Washington. Dream big. You may have seen this video again. It's pretty inspiring. Check it out, please. Three ways to start a, start a bad statistic. It's a video. Canvas quick links here again. If you're familiar with Canvas, you can update your profile, notification preferences, view your grades using the inbox, using a mobile device. Things that you would know if you've already taken a course in Canvas. Contacting tech support if you have an issue. All uh, right, browser support. The uh, contacting the uh, helpline if you have an issue. And else we have here video links, a lot of videos. I've listed them all from chapter one all the way down to chapter eight. These are contained in each different module, but I've got a listing of all of them. It's easy to find that way if you need to rewatch a video. Uh, textbook, additional resources. Yeah, your book is free. You can view it online. You can download a PDF or if you have an iBook, all right? I want to show you in a minute where I actually have links to all of the different sections. Textbook is free. And I have things like all the course PowerPoints, getting started with Canvas. I've already kind of mentioned this already. All right. You know, as I'm talking about resources, the academic resources are a great place to get extra help. They actually offer tutorial sessions online. And I'll post a link to that as well. The calculator rental, I mentioned that. You can't get by the course without a graphing calculator, and specifically a TI, which stands for Texas Instrument. Now, if you have a newer one, a newer model, like an 86 or 89, that'll work out. All right. Even an 83, but for $20, my suggestion is don't buy one. Simply rent one from the library, all right? You may not use your cell phone, iPods, tablets. Well, here again, that's the situation in class. I really can't prevent you from doing it since you're going to be home. But the TI-84, because what I do is I actually create videos showing you how the examples, homework examples, are solved using the TI-84 calculator, all right? There's a link here to make an appointment to pick one up. It's available only at the Brockton campus, Brockton campus library. What else do we have here? To give you an idea, this is obviously not published, but to give you an idea of what, what transpires from day to day. All right, I've got Wednesday here, but what I'm going to be doing is posting assignments on Tuesday and Friday. This day will change. But the idea is, let me just show you kind of, give you an idea of, what you'll be presented with. Usually each and every section, each or uh, maybe every other section has a video. I refer to this gentleman as Big Al. It walks you through. He does a great job. He's very, very clear in his instruction of um, the vocabulary. And he even does things, he problems working with the TI calculator. I also have a PowerPoint, a Google slide. Now here's a link right to download some people like downloading the actual powerpoint to review it but i also create google slides of the powerpoint which make it real easy for you to go through without downloading it i actually have a voiceover as if we were in class if we were in class i'd be going through a powerpoint i actually have a voiceover walking you through each and every slide of the powerpoint once we're done with section one one we move on to section one two as in any course, the very first sections are just very basic. It's mostly vocabulary. The words that we're going to be used, terminology that we'll be using throughout the course. All right, what you don't see, in fact, if I go back and go to the next day, this day obviously may change. All right, there's, I'm asking you to do section 1, 1, and 1, 2 homework. It's a PDF file. All right, so here's where you download it. Now we're going on to section one, two. Here's the 
Google Slides. There's the PowerPoint. All right. I'm going to ask you to do here is, is to your benefit not to watch the homework. Well, here's what I'm doing. I'm giving you a, here again, a voiceover of the homework. It's not a situation where I'm just giving you the correct answers, the correct multiple choice answer. I will actually walk you through each and every example and show you and tell you how I did it. In some cases, I'll be using, you know, I'll have something, the TI will be up on my screen. But what I'm suggesting is it would make sense to actually do this homework assignment prior to watching the video of the solutions. And like any other course, we move on, you know, to the next section, which is 2-1. And there's a link to the to the PowerPoint, and there's a link to the voiceover. Now, being a condensed course, we're doing what would normally take place or take 15 weeks in a traditional online course or even on campus. Since it's a condensed course, accelerated is actually the word they use, we're accomplishing this in 10 weeks. So there's, there's a workload. The good news is you get it done in 10 weeks. The bad news is it's a lot of work. I'm not going to I'm not gonna shoot code. It's a lot of work. But if you log in several times a week, make use of the um, the Zoom meetings, the office hours, and then, you know, I'll actually I'll set up the discussion board. Most folks don't use this. It's a way of asking questions. I would much prefer simply to email me. Mr. Gomes, number five, I've done it nine times. I still don't get how you get to answer B. In many instances, what I'll do is create a, a, a YouTube video just for you, and I'll share it with the class, but I'll e actually email you a link to the YouTube video. I'm here to help. All right, I'm here to help. Now, speaking of that, if I click on quizzes here, I'm not going to show you this right away, but by the uh, maybe the second week, I'm going to make this link available. And it's just a questionnaire just to get you to know you a little better. Um, not prime, but I just want to know how I can be of service to you and to help you have success. I look forward to working with you. And I want to provide you with all the resources I possibly can. I want to show this just, just yet. This will be posted probably a week after we get started. So all that being said, um, I look forward to seeing you online. And um, hope you enjoy the rest of, well, I'm doing this in August right now. We don't actually start up until October. But look forward to meeting you in October. Take care.